Welcome to our generosity series. Um, I wanted to share a scripture with you as I share this kingdom principle. It's taken from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And the Bible says, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Incidentally, this is the scriptural position with regards to prosperity. You know, I know that you know, there's a lot of teaching about people being made billionaires and multimillionaires and, and all that stuff. Well, I'm not, I don't know about that. I, I, I know for a fact that when God blesses someone with resources, it's tied to a purpose. And so some people's purpose or some of the purposes that God will bring the way of some people requires tremendous amount of resources in their hands. Um, a lot of times they are kingdom treasurers. But not everybody is going to be a billionaire. Not everybody is going to be a multimillionaire. Not everybody is going to be a millionaire. But everybody should aspire to what the Bible says is the standard that we have sufficiency, all sufficiency in all things, basically our needs are met, and that we have an abundance for every good work. The Bible puts it like this in the Amplified Classic Version. And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. So two things, the biblical position. Number one, you have enough not to require any aid or support. Number two, you have a surplus to abound to good works. How does that happen? God causes grace, every favor, and earthly blessing to come your way. And he does that because of your generosity. It, that grace does not come to everyone. It comes to those who are generous. The preceding two verses make that clear. Uh, verse 6 says, You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. Uh, verse 7 encourages us that we, should be a cheer, well, that we should be cheerful givers. And then, as a result of the spirit of giving, cheerfully, joyfully, as a result of sowing generously, then God causes grace, uh, favor, and earthly blessing to come your way so that you, you have enough for your needs to be met and a surplus so that you can be a blessing to good work, work of the kingdom, and to others. Well, I hope those principles give you food for thought. Uh, reflect on them, meditate on them. That is the biblical position. God bless you. Let's prepare to receive our offering on day, Thursday, day 13 of our pursuit of God. Uh, it's been amazing so far. We thank God for it. This opportunity for us to sow. In doing that, we are thanking God for the grace that has come our way, the favor and the earthly blessing. And we are believing God for more favor and more earthly blessings as we key into His kingdom principles uh, and our generosity goes to a new level. The ways to give are on the screen, uh, on your screens of your devices, on the screen uh, here at uh, Jesus' house. Um, let's give with joy in our hearts. Mm -hmm.